Welcome, friends. My name is Christina. I'm with the Rust Covered Cottage, and I'm going live on Days Gone By Vintage Market. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. I'm just going to share this to my page. How's everybody doing? Hi. Hello, hello. If I could share it to my page, that would be great. Okay, one second, folks. Let me share this to my page. How's everybody doing today? What an honor it is to be here. Philip and Joy sent me a message and asked me if I would go live on their page. Truly an honor. I appreciate them both. They have Days Gone By Market. If some of you that are my followers aren't familiar, I hope that you do follow their page, which if you're watching me, you probably have. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Betty. But I appreciate you. Hi, Yvonne from Texas. Welcome. Oh, Lisette, I hope I don't either. Hi, Brenda. Hey, everybody. I'm so glad you guys are all here. Turn on my hot glue gun. Thank you all for coming here. Glad to catch me live. Me too, Tammy. Hi, Marie. You're welcome, Yvonne. Thanks for watching. I am so, so excited. I wasn't nervous at all until about 20 minutes ago, and then, you know, it all just kind of hits you. Hits you pretty bad. I'm like, okay, this is really happening. I'm going to wait just a couple minutes. Marie, I'm glad you could make it. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome, please follow. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Tracy. No freezing tonight. No. This shouldn't be too long of a live. I'm doing something fairly simple. But so many people have requested about that stocking that I posted. And I think once people see how easy it really is, that they'll kind of think, whoa, she's not all that after all. <laughs> <laughs> but I got a huge response from that stocking. So I thought, why not do it on a live? Because I didn't do it on a live before. I just did it, you know, in my own time. Yeah, it, it, gets, it gets to me sometimes. But then once you're on, it's okay. I just try to make sure I get everything organized and make sure, I, you know, I get nervous that people won't be there. And it's just kind of gut-wrenching sometimes. Thank you, Lisette. Oh, thanks, Jolie. I'm glad you were able to make it. I am so glad you're all here. I'm gonna wait just a couple minutes. Oh, Tammy, good at lives? Well, then I must, you know, when I was in nursing school, I had this one instructor. When we first started going out to do clinicals, you know, like actually hands-on with patients, we had to take what we learned in the classroom and go, um, care for the patients and work with the other nurses and sometimes they're not always nice people and the one instructor always told us fake it till you make it you have the knowledge you know how to apply it just don't let your ignorance show because they'll really attack you then so I guess I fake it till I make it huh I'm glad you caught me too that is gingerbread behind me I didn't even think you guys would be able to see that these were gifted to me by Julie at DNJ Craft and Creations. And I just like grunged them all up. And then just put buttons and a homespun on it. They come in a set of three. So yeah, my little gingerbread men. I'm going to take them to my booth. Thank you. And then I also got this stocking from her. This is what we're doing tonight. Thank you. Hi, somebody said hi to me. Who said hi? I can't see my comments. I don't need my voice on there. Hold on, guys. So yeah, we're gonna do this tonight. Simple, simple, simple project. 
I love gingerbread too, so much. Well, hello, the rustic mustard seed. I don't remember your name. Can you tell me your name? Thank you, Tina. Thanks, Yvonne. I think the stocking is gorgeous. There's been several people. I mean, there's a lot of people that have done it. My moderator on my private page, Lisette. I think Sarah Booksy and Buttons had done one. Julie, the one who cuts them and sells them, done one. So we're going to make this into that. But she does all kinds of um, wood cutouts, so if you're interested in purchasing a stocking, then just go to... Julie, you can put your page link in there, honey. And I have this book of scrapbook paper that come from Hobby Lobby. And it's, what's really cool about this is it's already distressed, you guys. Like, for the most part, this is hard to hold up, but can you see how... It's already got the distressing on it. Oh, you're welcome, Julie, thank you. So, I thought, since I already have a red one, I may do the green, no, I'm gonna do the red again. I'm a red girl when it comes to Christmas. I'm gonna stick with red. If it's not broke, why fix it, right? Hi, Zena. I had to jump off her live to come over and get my stuff ready for mine. I forget her name too, Simple Spruce. It's not, is it Ange? Okay, so as you can see, this is a lot bigger than this. But I just cut it, like I lay it to make sure that everything's gonna be, let me see how I did that before. Because we're gonna cover the top part with that big beautiful bow, so it doesn't matter. I think I did it this way before. Maybe, I don't even remember. I had to have done it like this. No, it's up and down. Yeah, this is how I did it. I went all the way to the bottom. And then I just pieced it up there because you're not gonna see it. Between the extra distressing and the big old bow, you're not gonna see it. Hey, Sarah. Becky, that's her name. Ange is the other one, Honeysuckle Haven. So I'm just gonna go around and crease this so I can cut it. You guys, I'm live and I'm already getting hot. I think it's my nerves more than anything, huh? And we're gonna do the iron method with the Mod Podge because that is my favorite. And it's, you know, this is a big piece too, so I, I really kind of want to make sure it sticks. I hope I didn't just mess that up. Nope, I did not. Anybody jumping on that I missed, I apologize. And then we will, oh, you're Sarah too. Okay, okay. I remember that now. I'm gonna go all the way down. And then I'm gonna try to make the colors at least ma match up up here. But again, we aren't gonna see it. So I'm just creasing that. It's a real specific process, isn't it? I think that's why I'm very happy that I like like rustic and like a primitive-ish kind of style because nothing's perfect. Nothing. And I have my little Cricut Easy Press, the mini one, and that is what I use. And you guys, if you don't already have a small iron, I would recommend getting one of those travel ones from like Walmart because these are $50. And... Oh, did you? What'd you do? Um, I would not have, never have paid that, but it was a gift from my daughter. So that's why I have that one. Okay, we're gonna take our Mod Podge and brush it on. Yes, you can, absolutely. Scrapbook paper works good. Literally, I use it all the time. Not even gonna lie. 
because I buy it by the books when they're on sale. Like that book is, I think, $21.99. And then when it's 50% off, you can't beat it because you get, how many sheets? There's 20 designs, five sheets of each. So 100 sheets. Hi, Debbie. Oh, Lisette, silly girl. Yeah, thank you, Joy and Philip, for having me on here. And thank you, all my friends, for coming over. I was really excited. I'm not going to lie, Joy or Philip, whoever's on here. When I got the message, you know, with all the scamming going on on Facebook, I screenshotted it and I sent it to Tracy Campbell. And I'm like, is this legit or is this scammers? And she's like, no, it's real. I'm like, I don't want to reply until I know it's real. But she spoke very highly of you, so I answered right away. Okay. Got to make sure your surface is entirely covered. And then I'm just going to paint the sides in the back, which I did that first last time, but I guess it's my nerves that made me forget. And it's gonna be okay. It's still gonna work. And I dry mine just a little bit. Tracy is a doll. She's a very sweet person. I'm so thankful I crossed paths with her. And I just, um, I don't dry this all the way, but most of the way. Aw, thanks, Zena. I love all you guys, too. It is called, hold on one second, Pine, Pine Street Square. You can take a screenshot if you want. Can you guys see it okay? Yeah, this paper, I, I got it a couple months back when I went there to get my fall paper pack and this stuff was on sale and I thought it was so pretty. I'm like, I'm going to grab it now because if I wait, I may miss out on it. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here and then I'm going to apply my Teflon sheet. You guys can use parchment paper. But I have a bunch of Teflon sheets from heat transfer vinyl. So, I was watching Mandy at Western Grace one time, and that's what she used. And I'm like, that's brilliant. So, it just looks like this. And when I would buy heat transfer vinyl, a lot of the vinyl companies would send it with your order. So, I have quite a few of them. So, I'm just going to press. Make sure you get your edges real well. Charlene good you made it I'm happy 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 somebody went to Hobby Lobby diamond dust oh I got mine on Amazon so it was one of those things somebody was you just using and I'm like, okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go buy it. Okay. Go down one more time, down through the center. Make sure my edges are pressed. And then we'll just sand the rest of the edges off. I think most of you know the drill with this. Some people may have never done it. You guys, I'm on, I'm in my um, three season porch and you know, it was cold up here in Ohio today. Not going to lie. 
I don't know, 48, but windy, damp. I have my air on right now because I knew that I was gonna be hot. Our central air, it's not ran out here onto the porch, so we have a, a window unit, and yeah, you betcha, I have it on. You know, they have, Christina, oh, you're on, I thought you were live, honey. They have the small travel irons, I think on Amazon, but I know Walmart has them for like $15. Yes, Julie, I agree with the napkins. So then I just feel, because you can feel if there's bubbles in there. Let me go around and make sure the edges are all glued down. I was so nervous that there was going to be some kind of glitch and my technical skills would fail me and everybody would be waiting and I'd be late. I was thinking of all the horrible things that could happen, guys. Like, literally. Okay, we're done with that. So I'm going to set this out of the way. And I'm going to let that, before I sand, I'm going to go ahead and I just have these two types of paint came in a huge pack from Amazon one time I think it was like prime deals and it was inexpensive but this is called carmine red and then this one is just espresso brown and I'm gonna mix a little bit of each because I don't want it to be a red red so I'm gonna put mostly the red in there and then a couple dots of the brown to kind of dull the red a little bit and then we'll mix it and see what what we got I don't like the bright red I used to really like the bright red and the bright green you know the traditional Christmas colors and then since I found Booksy and Button Design and the Vintage Pebble and then all these primitive crap, I just, my, I completely changed. My taste just completely changed. I don't like white and crisp and clean anymore. I like it dirty and grungy and worn and weathered. I think that's going to, let me see what that's going to look like. Yeah, that's going to be good. Okay, guys, you know I got my coffee, so I'm going to take a drink of coffee. And then I'm going to move it so I don't spill it. I'm going to grab just, um, not that one, this one. Just a cheap brush from the dollar store. And I'm just going to brush this on. Yeah, that's much better. It's not real bright. Can you guys see okay, or do you need my ring light on? Because I don't have it on right now. Is the lighting okay? Yes, dirty better. Dirty is better. So I hope everybody had a good day. Okay, good. Hearts mean yes. I had a busy day. I didn't have to, um, Thursdays are usually my days off from having my granddaughter. So I usually like do my run in and get that kind of stuff done. So it was a good day. I went to my booth. I was going to go live, walk around the antique store for you, but then by the time I thought of it, I was almost done walking through it. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to walk all the way back through it. So I had to go to Walmart and get some things and get dinner and, you know, all the things. Hi, Nana. Hi, everybody.
everybody that I missed. I'm sorry if I didn't acknowledge you. I appreciate you being here. And we'll just do these sides. Do I have a lot of new people on here tonight? Give me some hearts if you're first time watching me. I'm losing my bristles. Losing bristles. Uh-oh, someone's laughing at me. Oh, so I got some new people. Well, I appreciate you coming on. I hope you like my crafting and decide to stick around for a while. I'm fairly new to the crafting world on Facebook. I've only been on for three months. And I don't regret it. My mentors that pushed me to do this, I'm so thankful for them. Sarah was a more, little more silent. Sarah at, the, at Booksy and Buttons, I found her back in April. And I binge watched her and couldn't wait for her to come on every week. And then I found Stephanie at the Vintage Pebble. And that's all she wrote. Thank you. Thank you very much. And um, I don't regret it at all. I'm very grateful. Very, very grateful. And we celebrated a milestone today. I hit 4,000 followers, which I'm so excited about. So grateful. Like I um, just left a murder scene. Hi, Myra. First time, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm gonna take my handy dandy little heat tool and we're gonna dry it up. Thanks, Nana. Thank you. Thanks for all the hearts, you guys. Hi, Brianna. That's my baby girl on there. Brianna, Brianna. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Yvonne. I appreciate that. Oh, good. I'm glad you're going to follow. That's awesome. You guys, we have a great crafting community. I mean, honestly... I mean, I know that the crafting world is huge. I know that there's like so many crafters and groups and pages and, and I'm very grateful for mine and the people that I've met, followers, friends, people that I follow, just a great thing. I'd rather do this over nursing any day. <laughs> almost looks like a nice barn run. Well, maybe not as dark. Thanks, Jolie. Hello, Rita. Rita's my good friend for like 25 years. She finally came on to see me. Yes, Brenda, the best. I'm telling you, we have the best people. Love it. They're so caring and I don't know. I just really like everybody. Almost dry, guys. And I wasn't worried about the full coverage because if you follow me, you know. I don't like perfect. That's why I used that type of brush. I just don't want any big paint puddles when I sand. That's what I'm trying to avoid. So see how it's kind of like streaky and imperfect? That's my jam. And I'm gonna bring my own garbage can over here because you guys know sanding with any kind of dark color is horrible. So I'm gonna be bent over, but I can see you on my iPad here while I sand. And then we'll get to making this thing pretty. 
Oh, thank you. Who said that? And one more me. Oh, okay. Yes, thank you very much. I really do appreciate you guys all being on here. Oh, that's not very comfortable. There we go. That's better. And I'm just taking just a real coarse grid. I think this is 80. And I'm just sanding downwards on the edges to get the remainder of that scrapbook paper so that it's all flushed up against the stocking. It gives it a nice look. And then we're going to do a little bit of waxing and then we'll make our bow. From the rust covered cottage page I just wanted to know if I shared it right your heart. Nursing's a whole different ball game nowadays. Yes, ma'am, it is. Okay. I'm sure there's no splintery pieces. We want it to be nice and smooth. That's a lot of years of hard work. Hi, Vaughn. Not that every job isn't hard work, but it's grueling, grueling, grueling. Physically and mentally. Okay, so that's done. Let me dry this off. I got a, uh, little red fingerprint on here which will just wipe right off so see this doesn't match up here but it's totally okay it's going to be completely covered by the big old bow i think that's so pretty so pretty so I have, let me just show you real quick, I have these berries that I'm going to use to put in it again, but I don't, oh those ones are darker. The other ones were real bright, so I sprayed them with that Tim Holtz Distress Spray Stain, but it doesn't look, I'm not going to have to with these, but I don't have three of those. So that really, really changes the game. Maybe we'll just do it. I don't want glitter, that's for sure. We don't want any glitter up in here. Let me see if I can break these apart a little bit. Yes, I can. Make it into two and then I'll have that one. So I'm just going to separate this one. There. I'm 
if it discolors it, we'll just spray it with the stain. I don't want the leaves on it. I just want the beads. So I'll have one, two. And then I'll spray them with that stain. And then we just got to pat them dry because that stain takes a minute to, to dry up. But I love it. It's a very messy thing. So I do it over the garbage can because it literally is so messy. See, it just takes, it makes it real dark. And then I will dab it off. Not completely, just so it's not wet. And it just tones down that brightness some. There, now they match. Now they match better. But just spraying that bottle, like it, it's a pretty messy uh, situation there. Okay, guys, we're going to make our bow. So this little device, if anybody does not know, it's called a Bodabra. Thank you for sprinkling. I appreciate you sharing me out like that. Let me grab some jute just to... Put down here so we can make our bow. And I have some red ticking fabric that I have coffee stained. And then I have some muslin that I have also coffee stained that I'm gonna just tear strips of. And we're gonna make a cute little vintagey looking bow. So I'm just going to snip it about, I don't know, half an inch, and then we're going to tear it. I'm going to do two, because if I have too much, then that's okay. It'll just go in the, the bag of leftovers. I'm going to do two of each. It smells so good. If you like the smell of coffee, like every time I move this muslin, it smells amazing. I added coffee or cinnamon to it too and vanilla, so it smells like a nice combination. Okay, then we'll just put that over there. Let me get my berries out of the way. start with the red on the bottom. I'm going to leave some strings on, but these are all tangled, so i got to get that mess off of there. And this fabric is not double-sided, so i got to make sure that I twist it. Oh, thank you, Myra. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And you guys, I'm not cutting these into strips. I'm just going to keep layering them like this. Because when I fluff them, the heck was that noise? Something outside was loud. And then I'll go in with my muslin now. Yes, it smells really good. Sarah, are you baking yours? How's that going, my friend? You guys, if you're looking for creators to follow, I have so many friends on here that you would love. Sarah at Boopsie and Button Designs. 
Stephanie at the Vintage Pebble. Gosh, who else is on here? Blissful Cre uh, Creations by Debbie Lee. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of raffia in there too, to give it some volume. Yes, farmhouse glitter. I'm telling you, when you get on a live, you literally do go blank. Like all your words just leave. And it wouldn't do any good to write it down because I would forget the list or forget to look at it, one or the other. Grace and Tattered Lace, there you go. My girls got it. List them on there. Check them out. You might like them. You might like what you see. Everybody likes to make new friends and see new ideas. I know I do. Everybody's got different styles, and you can always adapt it to your own. Okay, I'm just going to try to make this not as messy. We're going to add it in there with our fabric. Kind of like an organized mess. <laughs> and I'll give it a little bit of volume so it's not as um, flat. Yes, the rustic hot. See, I can't remember everybody. I just cannot remember everybody hard as I try. Okay, so we're going to keep doing the same thing we, we did with the first two layers till we finish this fabric out. I am going to start going just a little bit smaller with my loops, but not much. Not much. Smells like not it smells like coffee out here but not just from my cup of coffee from all this fabric okay and just a little bit more of this and then I'm gonna cut the loops when I'm done I'm not going to I think depends on how it looks like, I don't want that in there that's just a tangled up mess I think my um, raffia is getting really old. Old and brittle. Like me. <laughs> okay. We'll just stick her in there. Actually forgot a piece of muslin that's okay I'm gonna lift this back out because I forgot a piece of muslin guys forgot some muslin I have one whole strip to do yet three to one yours. thank you absolutely oh the bows are easy Jessica I'm telling you Sarah from watching Sarah that's how I learned I used to be the girl that made the wired ribbon bows. Like when I did my door hangers, everything was wired ribbon. Everywhere I went, that's what I looked for. I have so much of it hanging in my craft room and I don't even use it anymore unless I cut the wire off. Oh, you're welcome. I like to share my friends. We all support each other. I believe that that's what this community should do.
but yeah, I, I totally learned from watching Sarah. She, we call her the Borista. And after what, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, six months, I can make them. <laughs> you guys, she even has a bow tutorial. I think it's back in July. Because I'm losing it. Now I forgot to put my raffia in. Get with the program, sister. There we go. What do we call Sarah? The bow Rista, and we call Stephanie the rusting queen because her rusting technique, she has down to a science. It does make it easy. And I just push and pull, like push it down and pull as tight as you can. And then when you lift it up, you do the same thing. You can see how it's kind of a thick mess right there. You just push it down and pull. Push it down and pull. Sorry, I was concentrating. I know, I, and I don't use it anymore, and I feel awful. Good thing I didn't pay, like, a lot of money for it. I mean, a couple spools I did, but mostly I would get it on sale at Hobby Lobby. Thank you. But I just, she got me hooked. That's all there is to it. And then whatever, like this is how it comes out. And then you can shake it. You can twist and pull. Just manipulate it. Trim where you want trimmed. Just make it look messy. Thank you. Let me trim that piece off a little bit. And I don't like it to be a straight cut, so if you use your little sander, it'll like roughen it up a little bit. I'm not going to lie, I don't always do that, only when I think about it. <laughs> yes, who said that? Me hitting 4K. I did hit 4K. Very grateful, very grateful. It happens so fast, like I just can't even believe it. It doesn't even seem real yet. You will get some bunches of fabric that's gonna like stick together. Just pull, twist, move it. If your bow starts to look like it's uneven, you got more bow on one side than the other, just pull it. It'll move for you. It'll move. So I'm I'm happy with this. Some people would look at, like look at that and think, oh my god, that's awful. I see beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. And then I'm just cutting my jute from tying it. Hi Shannon. How are you, girl? I know there's not a lot of color, but I really didn't want a lot of color. You have a big, huge red stocking. You don't need a lot of color. And I have the Distress Oxide in the Vintage Photo. And I have it in Ground Espresso. And good. I'm glad you're doing good. I'm going to, I like to use both. I don't know. It doesn't overdo it, so it's not going to hurt, you know? I just take it on a big surface like this, and I just 
go over the edges. I mean, the stocking has a lot of distressing itself, but I like to do the edges where we just sand it off. Welcome, Judy. Welcome, Dottie. Thank you guys for welcoming the new people. I appreciate you. So then I just took it the last time and just went down through a little bit, kind of like where the ankle goes. Tried to make it look like there were some natural creases in there. And then I'm gonna let that dry and go over it in spots with the, um, the darker, the ground espresso. That's very pretty. You're not late. There's always replays. I appreciate you being here. Who was it? Is that somebody that's new? Well, if anybody is new, Judy Frederick. Oh my goodness. Hi, Aunt Judy. Oh, I'm so glad you're on here. Welcome, welcome. For those of you that are new, my name is Christina. My page is The Rest Covered Cottage. And I was asked by Philip and Joy to be a guest creator on their page. I see Kathy girl. I'll inspire you, Judy. I promise I will. This is what we're making tonight, Aunt Judy. This Christmas stocking. We're going to make another one just like the other one. Okay, so now we're going to take the ground espresso. And I'm just going to do the same thing, guys. Same thing. Go a little bit further in sometimes, but I'm mainly focusing. Sorry, my nose is itching. Must be from tearing the fabric. This kind of matches this dark color that's on here. Now, if you don't like dirty and distressed, you don't have to do this. You can get a nice clean piece of scrapbook paper and do it the way that you like it. I've seen them done vintagey looking, weathered looking, and I've seen them done real clean, and they're they, they're beautiful every way. Hi, Karen. Thank you guys all so much for being here. I appreciate you. Okay, while we're all on here, can we just congratulate Stephanie at the Vintage Pebble for hitting seven thousand today? Yes, she hit 7,000 today. The name of the di Distress Pad. Do you want the color or just the name of the pad? It's Tim Holtz Distress Oxide. And this one is Ground Espresso. And then the other one was Vintage Photo. And the spray that I used, the, the Tim Holtz spray, it's called, it's walnut stain. That's what I did the, with the berries to make them look not so bright red. Okay. I think all this funny business is done. Now we can make it look pretty. And you guys, the stamps that I got too, I love. I think Sarah from Booksy and Button Designs had them, I think. And I went and I got the, the uppercase and the lowercase. I cut the name off because they, they come with this case. So I wanted to save it. But with all my other stamps, I cut this part out so I could see what the font looks like. So that's what the font looks like. And that's the lowercase ones. I, th I want to say it was Kids Play. I believe that's what it was from Hobby Lobby. Okay, let me focus because I'm scatterbrained. Let me drink coffee. My apologies, that's my eight o'clock alarm to post. 
Okay, we're gonna glue this on. I have my phone in Do Not Disturb, but I forgot about my alarm. And it doesn't matter where you glue it, guys. Nothing has to be perfect. My focus is to cover where the two pieces joined. So I'm just gonna put down some glue. I'm just gonna place her down there. No sound? Can you guys hear me now? Thanks, Sherry. I'm glad you're here, girly. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, you can hear me. Okay. Whew. I mean, I do talk to myself a lot, but not usually in front of people. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And I have this bag. I got it from Amazon. And I can't even read what it says because it's all in Chinese. But there's a bunch of different size bells in here. And rusted, you know, the barn stars. There's three different size bells and three different size stars. I got it on Amazon. Okay, good. So we are going to take, I got this from Dollar Tree last year. And they're just, they're just picks. So I cut them apart. I made them into two. Because you're not going to see the ends of them anyway. And since crafting, beginning this crafting journey, I have learned that you're supposed to do things in ones, threes, or fives. So that's the rule that I'm sticking with. We're gonna have three of them. That's the way that looks. So I'm gonna cut this off of here. I haven't seen these again this year. I hope I find them again because they're nice to do in, you know, in things like this. to play with the other ends before I use them again fix the tops of them okay so then you just go through and you just figure out where you want what mess with your bow some more I try to kind of make my colors a little evenly but sometimes you can't and it doesn't matter it does not matter I'm not going to cut the raffia like I thought I was going to because I don't know I think that looks good it's big it's poofy so then I'm gonna go and just kind of see where I want my greenery I always place things before I actually glue them down and then I'll see where I want to put my I always, I'm going to put the berries with the greenery because I like it together. And that just broke. So that's okay. We'll just use that end of it. So we'll put that like that. I sold it for $26. It's already sold. fun part about doing lives because if people want it or see that you post it they message you aggressively oh no I'm not gonna cut it okay so I'm just gonna lift this up and I'm gonna glue my greenery in because that's where I want it Julie how much are these um, stocking cutouts when you sell them Sorry guys, I don't know. I was, uh, Julie's a good friend of mine and she gifted me this. So I don't have the cost. I 
I did not cut out the stocking. Um, Julie from DNJ Craft and Creations gifted this to me. She has a Facebook group and she sells wood cutouts. All different kinds, 15 plus shipping. It's definitely a nice heavy piece of wood. I mean, it's solid. And then you figure, if you already have, even if you just buy the scrapbook paper, you just get the single sheets. You don't even have to have a book of it. But being that I use it all the time, I do have the books. Um, 50 cents a sheet when it's on sale, 99 when it's not. And like I had everything else. Like I literally had everything else here. But even if you didn't, between Dollar Tree, because Dollar Tree even has nice ribbon that looks like ticking. And honestly, if you, if you coffee stain it, even if it's not a color that you prefer, like say it's the gray and white stripe, coffee stain it. It doesn't, it looks gorgeous. I've done it to a bunch of my Dollar Tree ribbon, or fabric, I'm sorry. I miss what you said. Yes, $26 is what I got for, for that one. That's already spoken for. And then I always am forever sitting here messing with the bow because it's just, it's what I do. I don't know why. It's what I do. And then I put pine cones on the other one, but I don't think I want to this time. I think I'm just going to put this bow here. And I don't think that it's going to need, this piece of ribbon needs to decide where it wants to live. Maybe I will. We'll see. I'm going to put the, the big old rusty bell on there. Yes, the Grinch tree was so cute. That Grinch tree was adorable. I love the green feathery piece stems that you were putting in it. When my daughter was little, she loved the Grinch. Oh my goodness, she loved him. Can't even tell you how many times we watched that movie. Okay, let me see. I also have this, like I had this in my stash too. This is what I cut the pine cones from the last time. This was from Dollar Tree last year when it was only a dollar. Before they raise their prices on us but I honestly don't know that I want them in here this time I don't think I do guys what do you guys think pine cones no pine cones I'm completely satisfied with that nobody's late there's always the replay Late. Oh, Gina, it's okay, girlfriend. You're fine. I, I'm not going to do the pine cones because I'm going to end up keeping this one because I want one. And I don't want the pine cones on it. So what I did last, the last time is, like, I keep a bag full of pieces of fabric that, like, are left over, whatever. And... My friend Lisette told me that she hung hers with fabric too. So I just cut a piece and I hung it with the fabric. But let's make our stamp. This is just regular black stamping ink. I'm gonna move those out of the way. And we're just gonna put, I'm gonna put Mary on it again because I like Mary. Christmas time is Mary. I love it. It's my favorite time of the year. Not weather-wise, but decorating-wise. So we're gonna get these out. M-E-R-Y. I just love these stamps, they're so pretty. 
They're awkward. I don't like the, the storage system of it. Unless I just toss them all in there. But I'm a little too OCD for that. Yes, love it so much. And I don't worry about being straight. I kind of purposely try to get the marks around the stamp because I like that. But when you're doing yours, if you decide to do it this way, you do what you like. Like see right there with that little mark around the E, I love that. I like when it's imperfect. I like when they're crooked and wonky. I mean, I want to keep it somewhat on the same playing field, but you know what I mean. I don't know what it is, Dee Dee. I got it from Hobby Lobby. I think it's called Kids Play. It is on the site, so look up Kids Play or Child's Play. Sarah, do you remember? Because I got them whenever I saw that you used them. I think it's kids play. Okay, now I'm going to take also, I'm going to dirty this up just a little tiny bit. I have the same Tim Holtz, but they're just the little ones and they're stacked. And I'm going to go for the antique, or no, the vintage photo, because it's not a real dark. Yes, just the vintage photo, and it's just a smaller stamp. And I'm just gonna lightly go over it, focusing on the edges a little bit. Kind of give it the old, it's been around a while. Okay, I thought that's what it was called. I can't even believe I remembered that because it's been a while since I bought those. And you guys don't have to do this, but again, my obsession when I first started crafting with Sarah at Boopsy and Buttons was real. So everything she used, I had to buy. So this is, this is not a Crocodile brand. This is a We Are Memory Keepers, but it, it puts, it, it's got a hole punch and it also will put a grommet in. So I'm going to put this into my tag just to give it a little finished look. And it just pushes right through the material. Can't really tell too much, so I just try to kind of get it in the right place. didn't poke the hole all the way through but that's okay because we don't care about that there yeah it did it just didn't come out it's loose in there so then it just adds a little something little something extra just a detail you don't need to do but I like it so I'm going to take a little bit of twine. Hi, Stella. Hi, Mary. I'm glad you could make it. Oh, is that who makes the crocodile? Okay. Thanks, Tracy. I had never heard of it until I saw Sarah use it. So then I'm just looping it through. You didn't even if you didn't want it that long but I, I like it like that so I'm just gonna tie the end and then we're gonna glue it did I see Sue on here hi Sue I'm glad you could make it girly hello hello and then I'm just gonna place it find a place to place it and I'm gonna let it hang I'm gonna tuck it up underneath there. Try to get 
try real hard not to burn myself. Oh, my blisters finally uh, healed up. I don't want any more. Thank you, Gina. As I say that, I'm holding my finger right on the glue. Not quite the glob there. And you guys, that is absolutely it. Not a hard project. You could get your hand, you know, order from Julie, look on Etsy, go to the Dollar Tree. They have different kinds of stocking cutouts. Doesn't have to be this shape. Take what I did and just make, make it what you want. So I will add my hanger to it. And if you don't like this flopping around, like you could put a touch of glue there to hold it wherever you wanted it to be. But that's it. That is all she wrote, guys. That's simple. But it does, it does make a statement, doesn't it? Thank you. I think it's gorgeous. I just love that scrapbook paper. Lisette, my moderator on my private group page, she is the one that used this scrapbook paper. I think she used the one with the snowflakes on it. She's like, it's already distressed. I said, what? Then I realized I had the same book. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, you guys, I appreciate you all for watching. I appreciate you, Philip and Joy, for inviting me to be a guest creator for your page. It really meant a lot to me. Thank you so much. Thank you guys all so very much for your continued support. You have no idea what it means to me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, Stella. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. Thank you, Charlene. Okay, guys. Thanks, Aunt Judy. I'm so glad you hopped on. I love you and I miss you. Thank you, Susan. Thanks, Sue. Thanks, Karen. So you guys, go order yourself a stocking. And make it and I ha I do have a private share group it's free private share um, it's called the rusty crew and I have a link on my page the rust covered cottage you anything that you make share it give other people inspiration if you made it because of another creator tag them in it so that they know thank you so much Yvonne we uh we like to support each other. Don't ever worry about mentioning another creator on my page because I, I don't I don't discourage that. I, I, I promote that. So, okay, you guys, thanks a bunch. I'm going to get off here. Um, I appreciate you all. Have a good rest of your night. I think we're going to head over and watch the Vintage Pebble because she's up next. So if you have nothing else to do, let's go watch Stephanie. She's making something very cute. I'll see you all later. Bye.